I wanted this book to show that uh, we who stutter are just as normal as everybody else. There's nothing wrong with stuttering. It's a disability like, uh, like being short uh, or being bald. You know, there is nothing wrong with it. Say it loud, you're, <laughs> you stutter and you're proud. I like the sound the typewriter key makes when it smacks the black ribbon because it's always the same. I never know what kind of sounds are going to come out of my mouth if anything happens to come out at all. Paperboy is a book I knew I would always write. It's, it's the story of my childhood. I grew up w with a very bad stutter. It's a very, it's a very uh, lonely existence. It's traumatic. It's confusing. I could not say my own name. Uh, I had trouble in school. I still stutter, but uh, I like to say I found my voice, uh, and I don't pay any attention to it now. But when I retired. I started reading all the books that had a protagonist in it who stuttered, and I could not find one that went into the mind of a young person uh, who stuttered. And I thought it was a book that, uh, that uh, should be written. I was managing editor of the New Sentinel, and we lived in Alcoa then. I retired in uh, 2006, uh, and I started writing Paperboy uh, just as soon as I retired. And then I could go play golf, and I could ride my tractor, and I could do what you do in retirement. It took me five years to write this little 250-page uh, book. And the reason it took me that long is because I had been in newspapers so long. And when you're in newspapers, you tell and you do not show. In fiction writing, you show and you don't tell as much. So, so I had to unlearn uh, newspaper writing and, and I had to come up uh, with fiction writing and it took a little while. Both of my kids have read Paperboy and loved it. Mm -hmm. It's required reading now in a lot of area schools. Yeah. What's that like? The book came out in 2013, and it won a Newbery Honor in 2014. Uh, I knew a little about the Newbery, but I didn't know what it would mean for the book. One thing it means, it's in every library uh, in the United States. Now, I was very proud the book was recognized. It is an important book, uh, and I think that that's why, uh, uh, you know, I got the award. It, it still is on a lot of reading lists across the country and, and in some foreign countries. It's been published now in 18 languages, I wasn't aware the story was, was going to translate around the world like that. It seems like it does, though. I guess the thing I'm most proud of, uh, the book now is used by a lot of uh, speech pathologists uh, in training their uh, clinicians uh, just because it looks at the whole person. Speech therapy has come so far, and what I'm so proud of now 
is that it, that it is seen as something that is not to be cured. It's to be accepted. You have to be who you are, and then you can work on it. Paperboy was very successful, and I started getting these emails. Uh, I got over 800 uh, emails with questions. What happened to this? Was this true? On and on and on. And so so I decided uh, I needed to write a sequel, and so I wrote the story when he was 17 years old. I needed him to grow. Uh, I needed to grow myself. Uh, I needed to see what made me at 17 and then at 21. I needed to write that for myself just to complete (laughs) the cathartic journey, which, which it was, and to tell the boy's attitudes when he's 21 years old uh, about about, uh, how he looks at life and what he has learned. If you could go back in time and talk to 11-year-old Vince, what would you say? Do not try to find your worth in being like other people. That's all I wanted was to be like my friends. I wanted to talk like them. I didn't play sports uh, to be competitive or to be with my friends. I played sports because I wanted people to look at me and and uh, say, well, uh, he's worth something after all, you know. I, even though he can't talk, he's a pretty good athlete. Uh, and that's just wrong. I think the book speaks to everybody. I, th- I think it tells them things are going to get better. Uh, whatever your problem is, just be patient and work on it, and uh, you'll be okay.